Where is the weirdest place you have had sex while on tour? <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Truth or Drink Celebrity Edition. Today, we've got a very special guest, Moray. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How about you? You good? Thinking of a plan, nigga, quick bands. Falling in deep with the quick sand. Flag on my ass, no quick brand. Take a good shot, some killer. And, you know. What's a good shot? I feel like I'm pretty heavy handed, so I'm gonna pour it to the top. Ah, this shit crazy. You know, you got a little lemonade to chase it with. Okay. Hey. This is the extra lemonade on deck. This is very, very good. Because I'm weak. Okay. <laughs> It's good, but I don't drink, so I'm like, that shit crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna start it off. All right, have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Uh, both. Both. I was 14, and I thought we was in love like a bitch. I go mm -hmm. couch fighting niggas for all going crazy. Right. Just to find out that be fucking everybody. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it kind of it kind of stopped me from like being 100% in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Kind of fucked me up a little bit, but I'm, I'm grown now, so. Yeah. Yeah, Bro, yeah, like no cap, yeah. cheating, you fuck up one time, you realize your mistake, yo listen, I, I fucked up. Yeah. Being yeah. faithful is, is the biggest flex right now. Right. And I, I, I know who, what I did in the past, and I know there's no excuse for that shit. Yeah, you grew from that, and now you're gonna take responsibilities on you. I'm gonna be simple, bro. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna flex that. Like, yeah. so then how's the love life now? <laughs> now I'm dating somebody new, and then we just, we taking it slow and getting to know each other and right. learning each other, feel me? So it's yeah. like, my love life now is smooth. Right. Like, I enjoy it. Have you ever hooked up with a fan with, to your own music? <laughs> I feel like not answering or answering is weird, so I'm just gonna choose the not answer. Yeah. But what song, though? Ooh, you slick. Mm. I know there's somebody out there who wants to put on the playlist. So what song though? Come on now. Has fame ever got into your head? Yes. Mm -hmm. I ain't really have a chance to do artist development, so it kind of yeah. like got to me super hard. Mm -hmm. So I had to like level myself back out. And that's why I dropped the song letter to myself that tell me like, nigga, this is why I got here for telling the truth. Yeah. Always with the rent late, trying to figure how to get paid. Worked all damn night for that minimum wage. It was times where <laughs> I would just go to the bank and take out $50,000. And spend it before the day is over. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna cap weed, strippers, clothes, yeah. party with my niggas, right. bottles. It was it was a, a fucking vibe for four days. Yeah. But then it also was a, a wake up call. Like, right. bro, you just you just spent two hundred thousand yeah. dollars in four days. Right. Just because you got the money, you right. gotta spend it. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It was just being frivolous for no fucking reason. Yeah, right. Because as fast as it comes in, fast it as it goes. Go yeah. For sure. Who is the last person who asked you for money? Damn. Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> Uh -oh. You got a drink on that? Because yeah. niggas be embarrassed because mm -hmm. niggas don't be having it. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I ain't going to embarrass nobody about it. You feel me? How much so, they ask you for? 1800 1800 Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and, and if you can't pay that back, you should never ask for that. No. You know who you are. You shouldn't ask for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to touch the lemonade. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is the rudest you've been to a fan? Why? There was a time when I was eating with my kids and my daughter does not like when people come up to mm -hmm. her dad. Like, so I seen her get upset because I took three pictures already. Mm -hmm. and I'm telling people like, hey, I'm with my family. You know, you know I'm, 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 I'm a respectful nigga. So I'm like, yo, bro, I, I appreciate that. Just let me eat real quick and then before I leave, I, I promise you, I'm gonna get you. Mm -hmm. And he didn't hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, bro, just yeah. like, give me one second. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm trying to eat with my kids. Right. He's like, damn, bro, you gonna come into the city. You gonna, like, bro, like I fucking said. Mm -hmm. Back the fuck up, cause now I'm upset. Like, right. but we here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you was cool. Nah, I'm not cool. Like, now nah, we're not cool, bitch. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? But like I said, yeah. I, I be feeling bad. Right. <laughs> At the end of the meal, yeah. I seen him in his family. I was like, yo, bro, listen, I didn't, I didn't, didn't mean to snap you from me, but yeah. my daughter don't like that shit. I yeah. got her in the car, came back, took the picture with him. But I do understand, because like, bro, we, we make music that people it touch you with people's soul. Right. Where is the weirdest place you have had sex while on tour? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shot o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. Cause life is good. Yeah. And here we go, slime. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. <laughs> this is fucking killing me. We lit. Damn, this shit got me fucked up fast. <laughs> All right. Who's hurt you the most in your life? Uh, probably my father. Mm. You know, he, he wasn't there as much as he should have been. You feel mm -hmm. me? You have a relationship with him now? Uh, I, I try. Okay. I ain't gonna lie and say it's smooth, but I definitely try. He, he's a rapper, so because of him, I rap, you know yeah. what I mean? And I just wanted to show him that nigga I could do this shit too. Right. But it is what it is. I'm a better dad though, I'm a, I'm a great dad. I love my babies. All right, if you weren't making music, what would you be doing for a career? 
Um, I probably would be a guidance counselor. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I, I went to school to be a psychiatrist, but I really wanted to to be a guidance counselor to, to talk to people and hear people's problems and try to give ways to solve it. I just like helping people. Last question for you. Uh, what are you most ashamed of? Um, damn. Really, just I'm probably ashamed of like me not giving myself the the you got it push yeah. like early on before I got signed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just I was really focused on being a regular person, yeah. and I let that overstep the music. I, I'm ashamed that I didn't treat my goal like it was a necessity. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I'm glad I am now though. Right. Has there been a time you sold out? Fuck no. I don't even know what that means. Mm -hmm. I, I'm <laughs> still living in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Nigga still humble, still respectful. Right. Nah, I still go back to my, my city and, and give out to charity. I, yeah. Nah. Okay. I'm more ready, it's gonna be more ready to the day he D.I.E. I have a song dropper called Broken Vows. It's a continue the story of my song, Letter to Myself. I'm getting more into what I've done, on up to what I've done, and letting y'all know I'm dropping breadcrumbs every month until you get the story. I'm dropping my album next year. So. Thank y'all for loving me, supporting me. Right. This shit was fun. This nigga's the shit. Right. Thank Blame you. what's Thank happening. You. We outside. Right. Fuck it. I'm drunk as shit. Right. <laughs>